This is Dabu 7 Space Update. We have NASA coming out once again, stating they're going to make a big announcement here in the coming days. And they've done this before. And for anyone out there that follows space like I do, you know we're kept in the dark about so many things. And that a big part of that is because of NASA. All the information that they control, that they try to push on the masses. But we've all been waiting. We've all been waiting for this time where they come out and make the big announcement. And so many people expect, I think, disclosure to be brought down to them in a different fashion. But I see them breaking the ice on this whole thing with announcing the discovery of a smaller life form. It's not going to be an entity, a, a human type entity. Out the gate, I don't believe. I believe it will be on the level of maybe even saying, hey, check out this. Uh, it's a fossil. It's a fossil of a creature that shows us there was life on this planet that's game changing and see they have to start somewhere that is huge if they were to make that announcement question is is how many of the sheep will out there will just be like oh just a fossil <laughs> not even realizing the implications of what that means but it's a process and it has been of awakening and I believe that this announcement is going to tie in to something of this nature. I mean, I hope that it's something of that magnitude, but I doubt it. Most times when they come out and they say this, they draw all this attention, and they do make big announcements, but not the big one that we're all waiting for, you see. Or something very interesting, like I was just talking about, of showing proof. And I mean, some of the latest images they're showing from Mars, I mean, you guys know what creek rock looks like? Versus sandstone and stone that's been worn by wind and natural arches? I do. And some of the images they're, they're sending back look like areas that were creeks or riverbeds, things of that nature. And they've stated they've discovered big deposits of ice. Massive deposits of ice and that there was once a massive ocean on Mars. Biggest question to me is, you know, what happened here? If you look at the myth, all the myths, the legends, they tell of the stories of these planets going to war. And that Mars was attacked and wiped out. And if you think about this, I have a funny feeling that this ties in directly to our history. You want to talk about the things being kept from you, like Atlantis and Lemuria? How about all these other cities like Sodom and Gomorrah that people say all oh, they were myth or fiction until they dig them up? And show they existed. The same going with legendary individuals. Biblical individuals. And why is it that when you go back and you look through all of these. Aztec. Uh, Incan. Mayan. Egyptian. Anunnaki. They all have bird heads. Yes, it was just figurative, huh? But would it not be too far-fetched to think there may have been different species, different breeds, as mind-blowing as that may seem. Instead of just one life form like we have here that you think. Because I can assure you, there's a lot more than just human on this rock. That's a promise. And they've always been here. So... When they open up Pandora's box, so to speak, with Mars, it's really, to me, 
starting to open up what they're going to try to tell us about our history. Now, no doubt, they've de deceived us every step of the way. But once you start to unlock the secrets of the stars and the knowledge and all this and the history of what really happened, there can be no more deception about it. There has to be a full conscious understanding of how it all works. And what we are, where we come from. But see, that ties right into the deception. Into a deception to where they're going to get you to worship this entity and its beings that will be beautiful and people will think are angels. And they're demonic. And have a funny feeling it's because of those same demonic forces that Mars looks the way it looks. And also, it was written while one entity was cast down to earth with all of his angels into the abyss. And to me, and the scientific data leans this way for me. It's just my opinion. But if you can hit the moon and it pings like glass, they don't get a thud. They get a ping like glass, like it's hollow. I feel every planet's the same. And if you look at all the other photos, even the older, older photos of these planets, they have holes in their poles. And that's real. Check out Venus. Two. Mars. Saturn. In the middle of the big crazy hexagon, I believe it is, that's at the pole. There are holes at the poles, whether on land or sea, and they go into the inner earth. And I believe that although there's molten lava and everything flowing, coursing through the shell of, of these planets, it's in my belief that there's not a molten lava core in the middle of these planets like they want you to believe. And I think they lie to you about everything. So I'm thinking the opposite here, or at least in a different direction, to get the truth. And with all the stories that I've seen, and all the information that I've come from, best place to hide and for a civilization to disappear is inside of the planet. It's the safest place to be. And I believe there's an inner sun. I believe there is a star-like burning electromagnetic energy at the heart of every planet. And I believe that inside the planet there is life and it's of the biggest secrets they keep from all of you. Now, the reason I'm saying all this is because if you live throughout the next 20 years and the secrets all do start to come out, you're going to see that this is true. So, what are they going to say about Mars? Not sure. It'd be something stupid again. Oh, they drilled something and they found some other element, which really isn't stupid. It's very important information. But what I'm looking for, and they know it, is to bridge the, ca the gap. Bridge the gap over to the sheep, the everyday people out here, and get them to understand that something of big magnitude is just went down. They know this. It's just timing of when they want to state these things. And when they're given the green light to say something. Talk about the Vatican, Pope Francis being here. We'll talk about control, Jesuit power, look into empire of the city, learn something. They all worship something other than what you think. And it's none of the religions they've got you all under. That's why I say Illuminati. I'll leave a link. It's Pendabu7. 
eyes to the skies.